see this is the book uh, of electrical machines of dp kothari now i am going to solve uh, this problem mm, there is a single phase transformer having series reactance of 12% the meaning of the 12% is 0 0.12 per unit in the per unit system this is a single phase transformer and the rating of the transformer is 6.6 .6 kilo volt of HV side and 400 volt of LV side and the rating in volt ampere is 75 kilo volt ampere now the first question the part A is calculate the reactance in ohm refer to LV side and HV side so to solve this problem the part A calculate the reactance in ohm refer to LV and HV side so in this problem in this example 3.23 there is a transformer the HV side voltage rating is 6.6 .6 kilo volt and LV side voltage rating is 400 volt our aim is to calculate the reactance in ohms referred to LV and HV side the rating of the transformer is 75 kilo volt ampere the reactance is 12% or 0.12 per unit we have to calculate the actual value of the reactance to calculate the actual value of reactance we know that we know the definition of the per unit equals to x actual divided by z base to get the well the actual reactance if the per unit reactance is given to us then multiply this per unit reactance with z base you will get the x actual value so to get the react to get the reactance in ohms refer to lv side we must know the value of the base impedance refer to the we should know the value of the base impedance of the LV side if I know the base impedance of the LV side by, mu by multiplying the per unit value with the base impedance of the LV side we can get the we can get the reactance of the transformer referred to LV side see how to calculate the how to calculate the base impedance the formula is base voltage square divided by s base if you want to calculate the base impedance of the lv side you must take the base voltage of the lv side so how to know which voltage is the base voltage so you must remember that the rated values are taken as the base value if nothing is mentioned in the problem then the rated values will be taken as the base value so the rated voltage on the LV side is 400 volt so write 400 volt square divided by the 75 kilo volt ampere after solving this you can get the base impedance 2.133 ohm so the reactance of the transformer referred to the LV side equals to the per unit value of the reactance 0.12 into the base impedance referred to LV side so it will be 0.256 ohm now in part A he is asking find the reactance referred to HV side also if you want to find the reactance of the transformer referred to HV side you must know the base impedance of the transformer on HV side so the base impedance formula is voltage square divided by S base base voltage square divided by S base so the base voltage of the HV side is the 
rated voltage of the HV side of the transformer which is 6.6 .6 kilo volt so write 6.6 .6 kilo square divided by 75 kVA which is the rating of the transformer the transformer rating ratings are taken as base so the transformer kVA rating is 75 kVA so this is the S base on LV side the base voltage is 400 volt on HV side the base voltage is 6.6 .6 kilo volt because we are trying to find out the base voltage on HV side so we must take the base voltage the rated voltage of the transformer on HV side so which is 6.6 .6 kilo so 6.6 .6 kilo square divided by 75 K which will be for 580.8 ohm to get the transformer ref uh, transformer reactance referred to HV side we have to we have to multiply the per unit reactance with the base impedance on HV side so this is the value 16, 69.696 ohm now the next we the next question is part B in this part B he is asking he is saying uh, the three such transformers are connected in a star star what is the meaning what is the meaning the three such transformers are connected in a star star the three such transformers are connected in a star star actually he has given single phase transformer of rating this to make a three phase transformer we need three th we need three single phase transformer see in this way this is uh, the transformer number one transformer number two and the transformer number three so three transformers are connected in star star the HV winding is connected in a star the LV winding is connected in a star so he is saying he is asking the line voltage and the KVA rating of the whole unit the line voltage see the phase voltage of a single phase transformer on HV side is 6.6 .6 kilo volt so the line voltage on the HV side will be the line to line voltage on the HV side will be 6.6 .6 into root 3 that is 11.43 kilo volt the phase voltage on LV side is 400 volt so line to line voltage on the line to line voltage on the line to line voltage on the LV side will be 400 into root 3 which is 692.8 volt the next question is he is saying he is asking find the per unit reactance of the bank so you must remember that the per unit reactance of the bank will remain same whether you are forming the three phase transformer of a star star type or a star delta type or delta delta type the per unit reactance of the bank will never change the per unit reactance of the bank will never change because reactance is always related to the phage see the per unit reactance of the bank will never change the per unit reactance of a single phase transformer and the three phase transformer connected in a star star or a star delta or delta delta the per unit reactance will remain same but let us see If you want to find out the per unit reactance, the per unit reactance means the actual value of the reactance divided by the base value of the impedance. If you want to find out the per unit reactance, taking the actual value of the re reactance on HV side, you must take the base value of the impedance of the HV side. See. The actual value of the reactance of the transformer 
is 69.69 on HV side this is 69.69 divided by the Z base on uh, HV side which is 580.8 so this is 0.12 per unit if you want to find out the per unit reactance taking the actual value of the reactance of LV side you must take the base impedance of the LV side so the value of X actual on LV side is 0.256 and take the value of the base impedance of the LV side 2.133 so 0.256 divided by 2.133 will be equal to 0.12 per unit so in the case of the transformer the per unit reactance will remain same whether you are taking the actual value of the LV side or the actual value of the HV side the per unit reactance will remain same because the base will change the base impedance of the HV side and the LV side will be different now see the third in the third he is in the third part question B in the third part he is asking the series reactance in ohms referred to HV and LV side So the reactance of the transformer of the HV side, the reactance will be same as it was calculated in part A. In part A we have calculated the X actual referred to LV side is 0.256 and X actual referred to HV side is 69.696 it will remain same whether the transformer is connected in a star a star a star delta or delta delta the value of the reactance referred to HV side will be 69.696 and the value of the reactance connect, uh, referred to LV side will be 0.256 ohm see the next part C repeat part B if the bank is connected star on HV side and delta on LV side so I have connected the HV side in star and the LV side in delta Re I, we have to repeat all the parts of question B so the first part is what will be the line to line voltage of the HV side 6.6 .6 into root 3 what will be the line to line voltage of the LV side that will be 400 volt because it is connected in delta the rating of the transformer will be 3 into 75 in the second part we have to calculate the unit reactance of the bank of the transformer so I have told you the unit reactance of the transformer will remain same it will remain same whether the transformer is connected in a star delta 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 star the reactance of a single phase transformer the per unit reactance of a single phase transformer will be the per unit reactance of a three phase transformer whether it is connected in delta 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 star a star star anything so this is the answer and in the third part he is saying to find out the series reactance in ohm refer referred to HV side and LV side so the reactance the series reactance the actual value of the reactance referred to HV side will, side will remain same and the reactance of the LV side will remain same 